Well guys, back at it again with another vlog. Hopefully it won't be as cringy as the last one, I know. But here we are, I am in, currently in Dallas, in the SMU campus, and we have a classic car show, which should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's just, let's just get to it. Alright guys, I should, probably should have brought my, my sunglasses, but... So we're currently, I think we're in the... Uh, basically where all the all the fraternity and sorority houses are because that's a pretty big fraternity house but yeah I can already see some pretty cool cars right over there uh, if I can fo focus it yeah can't zoom in selfie mode I forgot but yeah we'll get up close and see all the cool cars This Spirit of Ecstasy is a little different. This one looks like it's running, whereas that one just looks like it's standing. Pretty cool difference in this Phantom 3 from the 30s, nice. all the Cadillacs which if you guys don't know I'm a huge classic Cadillac fan especially the C2s and C3s especially the C1 as well but I love the shape of them more or less the coupe version but the ca the cor the you know the damn what's the word convertible is also nice too but man I would love to have one of these in the future daily it do everything with it, but that's in the way just the future. Here's an interesting thing. This thing here is a Cadillac, but on the side it says Pina Farina, which is strange because I thought that that guy only worked on Ferraris, so I was surprised to see that. <laughs> No, it's just so the way the BMW shifters work. There's uh, there's linkages that go from the uh, from the shifter and the chassis to the to the transmission. It's not directly into the transmission, uh -huh. so it's a chassis mounted shifter that then attaches the linkages, and it's a lot tighter than uh, your traditional BMW shifters. Uh, this is cool. Yeah, just the essential instruments. Bug eyes. We got the Trans Am. <laughs> we got a Smokey and the Man. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit vinyl too. Another Trans Am? Or? No, this is a Charger. This is General Lee. Charger? Yeah, Dutch Charger. Nice. So it's heavy. What's the difference between like a regular engine head and a Hemi? So hem Hemi's have a hemispherical combustion chamber, so the head is actually half of a circle. It's yeah. kind of very domed, and then early days of engine design, 
that hemi would, that uh, hemispherical combustion chamber was uh, increased your your air fuel mixture a lot. That the atomization and the mixture of the yeah. par particles together, as opposed um, to just a flat head. Well, uh, they had flat and slightly di you know dished, but the the hemi the hemi has a very pronounced curvature, and the pistons are domed on the top, so they actually protrude out of the block. Uh, the, the top. I, I, oh, yeah. Look at that. What is up with the differential is like right between your legs. What's up with that? <laughs> Where else is it gonna go? <laughs> I don't know. Move the person forward a little bit. Nah. Weight transfer, man. I mean, that's, that, that, that was eventually the death of the engine forward design, and that's where you went to the engine, engine rearward. Yeah, I, I can see the, I can definitely see the gain in that. Why they start with the engine forward design anyway? Then it's just what they knew. I mean, you you got to remember that in jack racing, a lot of your your tire your tire rubber, you didn't have performance clutches. You had you yeah. just had bigger clutches. You had, I mean. I'm, that very well might be direct drive. There might not be a transmission. Really? Uh, there is a brake if that's if that's anything. So yeah. steering is controlled with just one uh, one rod. One rod, yeah. All the way down to this. Yeah, it's practically it's, go kart steering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Loud. Super loud. I had to cover my ears, that's what the shaking was. Not the cars. Although it might as well have been. Alright guys, great car show. Especially that ending, because I did not expect those old Draxters to be turned on. I mean, if you looked at my face the entire time, I was smiling, because those things were loud, first of all. You could, you heard me, I mean, I said the shaking, that was me trying to cover my ears like this. And try to hold the camera in one hand, it was kind of hard to tilt your head like that. But yeah, especially those dragsters were. There's really something else. Like I was talking to the one guy who owned the last dragster that was run, and he said he like it's a scorpion, and it's incredible. It's incredible. He said he was working on like before he got it, working on a scorpion replica so that he could fit in it and drive it as well. But yeah, it's awesome. And apparently those things can't run on modern race dress because they're considered unsafe. Apparently what they have to have is like a six point roll cage, but oh well, shame they can't be, do that. But yeah, those things were awesome. awesome. And I know I say awesome a lot, but honestly, when it comes to cars, you there things are awesome. I guess that's my catchphrase, unofficially. <laughs> but yeah, this car show is great. Tons of classic cars. Just overall a great time. If I were to have a car collection, a lot of these cars I saw would be in, in that collection. Because I love one well, thing I love about old cars is not only do they have a lot of history and influence over the car car culture, but they their the styling in them. They, they just age so well in today's standards. I mean, wish more cars looked like them, honestly. Of course, not all of them, because you wouldn't have all the cool cars we have today. But still, with cars like these, I'd choose a lot of them over a bunch of new cars. Oh, yeah, that one, that was this classic car show, and hope you liked it. I loved it. I had a big smile on my face on some of these things. But yeah. See you dudes next time.